words have the ability to control people's emotions. They can make you happy or sad, even love or hate. And for five foot three Tyrone Muggsy Bogues, he's heard the same words his entire life. Can't, no, and even impossible. I was a more of a confident type of kid that believed in me and because no one else really did. And I had to continue that confidence, that aggressive play because I was trying to prove a point. It gave him tremendous motivation. Yes, he did hear it all his life. He was too short to play the game, and it really was a burning desire that he kept inside. He was the type of kid you couldn't tell him no. He was always determined he was going to do whatever he wanted to do. It was a passion. It was something that I wanted to play, but at the same time, it was also something that no one else believed that I could do. So it was also a proven, a proven thing. You know, I want to prove these people wrong. You know, that, hey, I can play. Born Tyrone Curtis on January 9th, 1965 in Baltimore, Maryland, Bogues was the youngest of four children, born to Richard and Elaine Bogues. He grew up in the Lafayette Public Housing Project on the city's east side. Growing up in the inner city of Baltimore and the housing projects of Lafayette Courts, it was challenging, it was tough. I mean, like anywhere else, you had the drugs and the murders, um, but we was a type of family. We had support from our parents. Um, that 411, my mother did not play. Elaine Bogues worked hard to raise four children by herself after her husband went to prison for armed robbery. She became Muggsy's biggest influence to stay off the streets. But one day playing in the projects changed his life forever. Five years old, been at the wrong place at the wrong time, um, outside watching the fight take place. She started firing and got caught up and got hit with the buckshots. And, and that was a scary moment. You know, it felt like I was, you know, gone. I wasn't going to be here no longer. Uh, but I think it changed me. I think it gave me a self of confidence, a self of belief, a, a motivation within myself that whatever I want to do, you should be able to do it. Sports became the outlet that Muggsy used to stay away from trouble in his neighborhood. Wrestling soon gave way to basketball, even though he had few believers that thought he could compete on the playground. No one really believed in it truly, but you know, I, I was kind of wait my moments and wait my opportunities. And once I got him, I tried to make the most out of it. It really kept him focused, because um, that was something he was determined to do. Because of his height, everybody will push him away. You can't play, you too small. He was just an outright tough kid. And uh, saying you can't do anything, that's the wrong thing you can say to him. But he definitely will prove to you he can do these things. The next level was one of the best prep basketball programs in the country, Dunbar High School, where he played with future NBA players, Reggie Lewis, David Wingate, and Reggie Williams. The Poets went 59-0 his junior and senior season, winning two national championships. Muggsy was, was, was the key. He made uh, the big guys fearful of, of when they rebound. They were fearful not to bring the ball down to his side. Just his outstanding uh, uh, leadership and ability, uh, that's what he brought to that, to that team. Everybody be laughing. Look at that little boy. What do you think he going to do? Until that ball go up in the air, you didn't want to put it down near him. My style, and, and they never seen a guy like me. Um, the way I played and how I played, the aggressiveness in terms of defensively, you know, continue to make him think, you know, that I'm bigger than what I am. Whenever folks doubt him, it seemed like he, he, he'd have an, an extra gear within himself to, uh, to prove folks wrong. While he had some interest from local schools like Georgetown in Maryland, as well as Seton Hall, Muggsy felt that Wake Forest offered the best situation. 
Wake Forest was promising. You know, it was a challenge on and off the court for me. It was a proper school. HCC, it was easier for my mom to just turn on the two. So a lot of stuff kind of made sense for me to go to Wake Forest, and I'm glad I made that decision because that was the best decision of my life. I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. And here was one of my all-time mistakes in terms of judgment. Along comes Wake Forest, and I pick up the paper. They signed Muggsy Bogues. I said, "How stupid! What a waste of a scholarship! What are you going to do with a five-foot, three-inch guard that can't shoot the basketball?" Now, how wrong could you be with that kind of an attitude? Muggsy left Winston-Salem in 1987 as the ACC career leader in assists and steals. I mean, he he was he was the one guy that that said. Yes, I can, no matter what my limitations are. Yes, I can, I can play. And even though his playing career is over, his hand is still very much in the game as a first year head coach at United Faith Christian Academy in Charlotte. Come on, guys, stay focused with it. He's a guy like a teacher, he's he not like a coach. And he, he cared, he liked a party. From the on the court to off the court, I've probably been through it. And, and he can probably give you a better understanding. Work the ball. Take what you need to the building. Well, he just said whenever, you know, if you always going to have setbacks and people telling you you can't do nothing, but that should just be fire for you to want to work harder, and that's what he tells us to do. It's a lesson Muggsy has no problem teaching. It's one he lived his entire life proving to all skeptics that this guy, this 5'3", 136-pounder, was going to succeed. I mean, I can't ask for any, any more than that. My mom got to witness everything that I accomplished. She always told me, you know, no, no expert, no one can be an expert in your life. No one know what your capabilities or your potentials are. You know, and that always stuck with me. And for those type of, uh, I mean, every day, that I continue to go out, to leave my family, you know, those continue to resonate and continue to, you know, travel with me as I go forward.